Hi everybody, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing the wrap up for my reading, my reading journal for March and setting up April. So if you want to see how that comes together, stay tuned. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is color in the books that I read in March in my reading list. Um, the first one that I got through was Liturgy of the Ordinary, and that one had kind of a greenish color, so I'll color that in with a green pencil here. It's kind of fun to see these all. Um, get colored in as the year goes on and then we've got the midnight library which was kind of a dark blue so we'll color that in there and then I read anxious people which had kind of a gold color spine so we'll see what if I got a color that this will work Um, and then the other one was, where did it go? House in the Cerulean Sea, and that one was kind of had a lot of colors in it, but I think I'm going to color it in in kind of this sea foam color, because there was a lot of that on, on the color, on the cover. And that was one, two, three four and I read five books but the other one was not on this because it was a reread so that's it for for this one and then we'll go through and color in the authors so uh, the first one I did was um, the Rose Garden by Susanna Kearsley so that'll be a female one and then we had Anxious People by Frederick Backman. So that is a male. And then we had, look at my list and make sure I don't forget anything. Oh yeah, The Midnight Library, which was also a male author, Matt Haig. There's really no specific rhyme or reason to the colors I'm using for this, other than they kind of match the colors I used in the spread for that much month. Um, House on the Cerulean Sea was also a male author. Liturgy of the Ordinary was a female author, so we'll do that. That's three, four, five. So that's it for that box. Genre, we had, let's see, The House on the Cerulean Sea would have been kind of young adult junior fiction. And Liturgy of the Ordinary was nonfiction. And the others, I believe we're our adult one, two, we're all adult fiction, so. Clear those in there. I think the reason I'm reading more fiction than nonfiction is because the nonfiction ones tend to take me a little bit longer to get through just because they require a lot more processing. It's not that I don't enjoy them. And then format. So, um, 
Rose Garden. Was an audiobook. Midnight Library was an audiobook. And The House on the Cerulean Sea was an audiobook. And the other two were physical books. Okay. So now I'm just going to quick write down the titles of my favorite and least favorite books and then um, I will go through and kind of write about them a little bit more later. Um, trying to decide what color I want to use. Alright, I'll kind of, I'll do a green and orange. So I think my favorite book this month was probably <coughs> it's a hard one. I think I'm gonna say Anxious People. I really liked that one. Although I re the House on the Cerulean Sea was probably a close second. I actually recommended that one to a lot of people. But Anxious People was just really good on so many levels, as are pretty much all of Frederick Backman's books. And I'd say my least favorite book was probably um, The Midnight Library. I had high hopes for that one, and I liked the premise of it a lot. Um, the execution of it was a little bit of a letdown. Um, I don't know if it was because I had such high expectations or not, but it became pretty predictable and I just, I don't know, some of the, I liked the philosophy and the theory behind it. Um, the way it played out was a little bit lackluster in my opinion. But I know a lot of people really loved it, so I don't know. Do with that what you wish. But I'll kind of write a little bit more later. I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. Um, so now we'll go into setting up my spread for April. And my idea is to do, like, an umbrella with raindrops because of, like, April showers. So... I think I'm going to start with kind of drawing out my regret not having a pencil here. Um, I don't know where all of my pencils went. So hopefully I don't screw this up too bad since all I have are my pens. Um, That is the handy thing about a dot grid is that's gonna that's gonna bug me. I think we're gonna do that. And then white out this. The dot grid does kinda help give you a little bit of a guide to go off of, which is handy. Oh, shoot. Why is this being difficult? There we go. Okay. The downside of having the wide out is that it doesn't, um, you can't put the marker over it. Um, and normal, Normally, I would draw in the lines there for the um, part of the umbrella, but um, 
I intend to write in there, so I don't want the lines through through that. So, and then we'll do a. Um, these are just my just Tombow brush pens that I'm using. In case you're interested, I'm gonna do like a little handle here. I think that's kind of close to the middle. And then I thought I would maybe just do like the gray for the this part. And I can color it in with the brush pen. This is a little bit of a darker gray than I had anticipated, but it'll be okay. And then I'm going to do some raindrops around and they're going to be disproportionately big to the size of the umbrella just because I need to make sure that I have enough space in there to write. Because this is where I'm going to write the book titles as I finish them. So I know it's going to look a little strange, but I'm not sure how to get around that. So artistic representations, I guess, don't always have to be perfect. I probably won't read this many books, but it's good to have the space, I guess, right? All right, and then I'm just going to write April up here at the top. Um, this is also darker than I anticipated. All right, and then as I go, I will write the titles of the books in here, and um, I think I kind of want to color on the raindrops, just to give it a little bit more. a little bit less land. And I do plan to um, have a blog post up sometime in the next few days with a more in-depth review of my thoughts on all of the books I read in March. So if you would like to check that out, watch for that. The link to my blog is always in the description. Um, I'd love it if you would check that out over there. I try to post at least one thing a week and some of it's book reviews, some of it's uh, mindfulness or minimalism related. Some of it is planning related. Just kind of a variety of things. So um, there's that. And then on this side, I'm just going to give a space to set up um, a place for me to write about my um, favorite and least favorite books of the month. So there's that, and I'm just using these Jelly Roll gel pens for for this. I don't think, know if you can see very well here. I think these show up better on darker paper.
All right. And that is my reading journal set up for April. So thanks for joining me. And I will, um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments on anything or any book suggestions for me, leave them down below. And otherwise, until next time, keep being awesome. Bye.